Hello, today I want to make an analysis from a man from Southeast USA. Let's start. Um, this man made the My Heritage DNR test also 23 and me because I have reached uh, I have received from him the him from him the methanol haplogroup. Now first I want to start with the nice algorithm from my heritage. You see in this side in the left side these are the results from the man from Southeast USA. In my heritage, very different regions from West Europe and Northern Europe appears also East Europe and a small part of Mesoamerican, also like uh, Middle America. So in the right one, this one is the person which I make three, four weeks ago. It's a woman from Netherlands and my heritage give her 100% Northwest European. So look at this both results. I couldn't see so much different uh, parts that it's complete different like the woman from Netherlands and the man from USA. Because why? Look first, this is the Dodecat cut 12 b results. You can see the North European part almost the same, only a very small part different, very small. Atlantic Mediterranean is the old Anatolian farmers. Um, the person from USA, 2%, 1.5% more than the woman from Neverland. Now, Gedrosia, Gedrosia is the old Iranic part, yes. You see, the man from USA, 8.86, the woman from Neverland, 8.71. Very similar, very near together, each to each other, okay. So, next part, Caucasian. Caucasian, the person from Neverland, 8.82, the man from USA, 7.12. 1% less than in Neverland, but it's not a big part. Yeah, it's not a big part. So uh, now um, the man from USA gets from my heritage Mesoamerican or the Middle America. And uh, perhaps because he have got 1.29% uh, Siberian and the um, woman from Neverland 0.68 Northwest African have is doesn't this is not here as a, uh, um, not in the results from the USA but here is a very small part and South Asian also a little uh, less than one percent and here Southeast then less than one point five um, five percent it's very less so what's the message you see in the one place in USA the results from the man who has have got old European ancestors and are almost the same results like the person from Netherlands. But my heritage gives the woman 100% Northwest European and the man from USA very different parts. And also the mixture you see both started with mixed Germanic, Dutch, German, Kent. Also, the population uh, sharing is almost the same. Yes, almost the same. It's, we can look at the mixture here downstairs. You always Bulgarian. Bulgarian is also here. Romanian also here. Orkney, you can see that this is almost the same mix, almost the same mix, but my heritage give different results. And that's the problem in my heritage. The algorithm of my heritage is not in a red line. It's like hopping with the ball and um, you can't say that the results of my heritage are really, 
realistic because why is the result so diff different between these persons? I think they have almost the same results, the same ancestors and um, but completely different in my heritage. Okay, let's look at the haplogroup group from this man. So this man has the E, so I um, M T two five three, and this is our old European haplogroup. group. You can see the last mutation was in West Europe. Let's scroll inside. You can see always the same way through Anatolia to East Europe, then to Spain. And this mutation is in the, uh, in the north side of France, near Dutch, as a well, Netherlands, Belgium. So, and you can see this mutation is happened about 2000 BCE, as before Christi, 2000 before Christi. So you can see it's about 4000 years old, this mutation. I thought if he makes the big Y, you can see um, the results nearer to this time. But I think it's a West European um, mutation and uh, always uh, sometimes this e haplogroup is always in the Balkans and in East Europe. So Anson connection, you can see where is it found always here in, in Sweden, 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 Sweden um, Hungary and you see the times but almost West Europe. Next thing we can look, um, let's look here, you can see where is it, On, always often in the Scandinavian parts this is Sweden, Norway, Finland, also in Iceland, but you can also find it in Saudi Arabia and Turkey, but the most uh, hot spots are here in the north, we are northwest European parts, okay, also in United States and Canada, because a lot of the immigration from these countries goes to USA in the 80s, 70s century. And um, what's not, what's important, one moment. So look at the la uh, list at the MLP22 results. You, s um, you see in the MyHeritage results, he has a Mesoamerican part. The Mesoamerican part is always sometimes a part from Central Asia because Siberia or East Asian parts are going, migrated to the, p the people, the human beings, migrated about 10, 15,000 years before from um, East Asia above the Bering Sea to USA, as to America, and then go uh, down to Middle America and South America. And now you can see almost like in the Dodecat key 12b results, um, almost these parts are very similar. And then you can see here South America, Meridian, 1%, Indian, 0, 0,79, in the Iranians. Ah, this is interesting. He has got not so much in the Iranian parts. These parts are coming from the, yeah, the, the people, the, perhaps the Yamnaya culture who migrated five, four thousand years before, yeah, before five thousand years to Europe. But his parts are smaller than usual in Europe. Uh, Germans and also the Dutch uh, woman has got about, they have got about uh, three to four percent. Yeah. Then North American, Mesoamerican, North Siberian, Palo Siberian, these parts, this parts also appears, appear at the results from the Netherlands woman, okay? German, Austrian, you see, you see the distance is very near, 
very close. Central Europe, Romania, Greek, Gagos. Gagos is a Turkish tribe. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoy this. I try it in English because the follower is from USA and I hope he could understand me. And thank you very much. Please like it, follow me. Thank you. Bye bye.